Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name's Jason Newland This is relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes now there may be a little bit of background sound because I've got the window open but it doesn't really matter um, because this is not going to be a you know a relaxation session as such it's just going to be an exercise that you can do just going to so it's going to be a short recording And I like to I like to think of ideas that maybe you can use at work, maybe even on the bus, providing you're not driving the bus. And so this is something that I used to do when I worked in a call centre and I I was actually not very well at the time uh, with stress, depression, anxiety, you name it, it was all kind of going on. However, I kept working and I wanted to keep the job because I liked the job. The job kind of was part of part of the problem because of like major redundancies and stuff like that. But it was more my reaction to what was going on. Well, I came across something which I found really useful. Uh, I'm not sure how you can embed this into your own life so I'll, I'll quickly tell you what I did and I didn't do this on purpose by the way but uh, I had a hypnosis training course booked for I think it was the January started in January it might have been September or October but anyway it was it was quite you know quite a few months away uh, at the time when I discovered this thing so I was selling car insurance uh, people were phoning up and I was just doing quotations on the phone asking millions of questions one of the questions was uh, well, how did, I'm not sure how it's worded but do you do you study part time or full time are you in full time or part time education And whenever I said those words out loud, because I had to be out loud, out loud because you know, the person on the phone couldn't mind read me, but I, whenever I said the words out loud, I had, or I, I don't know how to explain it, a fuzzy feeling, a feeling of well being, a feeling of. Uh, I suppose maybe excitement because I was looking forward to doing this hypnosis course training course I'd already done a few in the past but this is just another one that I was looking forward to doing and when I said those words do you have any part time or full time education um, yeah are you in part time or full time education 
I, every time I said it, I felt really relaxed and calm and that was it really I just had the feeling of calmness come over me you know my muscles relaxed my mind slowed down and I felt good now I didn't plan for this reaction to occur I didn't set it up I didn't set up a a trigger signal using those words I wasn't you know wasn't an NLP technique or any kind of hypnotic uh, you know future planning situation it just happened so I guess the idea for this recording the idea is and it doesn't have to be a work situation it can be any situation where you could really do with a boost a boost of relaxation uh, increased calmness and maybe mixed together with Well, looking forward to something. Looking forward to something that's going to be happening in the future. Or, of course, you could connect it with somebody in your present. Some Something that's happening now that you really, really love. Doing, maybe. A hobby. Something like that. So, there's different ways, I guess, to do this. You may not be in a position where you're asking random strangers questions, the same questions over and over again, like I was. That was my job. So, another way of doing this is get yourself a piece of paper. Don't do it now, you can do it at the end. Or you can pause and go and get a piece of paper. And sit down, get comfortable again. And now that you're comfortable and relaxed, go and get a pen. And I want you to think about something that when you think about it or her or him or something that you're looking forward to and if if at the the time of this recording you're saying uh, well there's nothing I've got nothing to look forward to at the moment then prioritise changing that change that situation find something to look forward to and I know some people will say well I've got no money I can't afford to go on holiday and well same here it's having something to look forward to doesn't need to be something that costs money having a wonderful feeling that really fills you up doesn't have to have anything to do with finances I mean it could be well something I've noticed with in offices and uh, call centres and call centres, if you've never worked in one, there's quite high pressure. And I'm sure some people who haven't worked in a call centre would think, well, it's got to be easy. You're just, especially if you're asking the same questions over and over again. 
Yeah, but that could be a little bit tedious at times and challenging, dealing with human beings. And, you know, not everybody's had a good day before phoning the call centre. So it can be a very challenging environment to work. And I discovered that people, some people, not everybody, but some people in call centres do have a way to relieve that stress and to actually bring them back to I suppose reality uh, their reality uh, reminding themselves of what they do have as opposed to maybe they may not be feeling in a particularly good mood and the day's not going quite how they would like it to and I'm talking about call centres just as an example some people have pictures on the desk of the children their loved ones you know uh, partners, husbands, wives pets, dogs uh, ferrets maybe even a picture of their their favourite singer or a photograph of last year's holiday or a picture of where they're going next year so you know it's motivational and it changes the way that that person feels instantly it's a trigger it's a positive trigger looking looking at that picture or thinking of that person or thinking about something that the they're looking forward to doing changes how they feel and they feel more relaxed more confident more more able to cope with what's going on because there's a reason for dealing with maybe that difficult customer or there's a reason for the day of course there's always a reason for every day but sometimes you know we can have a bad day and can't quite grasp the point of what's what's happened what was the point of that but then if you step back see the bigger picture I suppose it could almost be like a I don't know, like a, a map, a timeline, where that's you there now, but if you look down the timeline, oh, there you are, lying down on the beach, or there you are at a wedding, there you are collecting your degree at your graduation, or there you are getting that job that you've always wanted or there you are relaxing whatever it is for you because it's going to be different for everybody so it's about finding that ultimately it's an emotion isn't it Finding that strong, positive emotion that's stronger than the negative stuff. And when you think about that thing, that situation, that person, maybe you can have a photograph in your pocket because I'm assuming not everybody listening to this works in a call centre or 
an office environment. So you can take something with you, write down on a piece of paper and carry that piece of paper with you uh, in your pocket or your purse, your handbag, your wallet, your fanny pack or uh, who knows, maybe you want to keep it inside your socks, which would be probably a bit strange, maybe not. And you could write down what it is you're looking forward to or what it is that motivates you what is the reason you're doing what you're doing what's the bigger picture what's the something much bigger than you know the stress that you were feeling to remind yourself by looking at that piece of paper or looking at that photograph or looking at that maybe it's a postcard or you've cut out a picture from a magazine that motivates you and reminds you of something that you've either done in the past that you loved and when you think about it or look at it you feel relaxed calm and actually quite happy or something that you're looking forward to doing. And as I said before, if there's something that you maybe haven't, if you don't currently have anything that you've got planned, then plan something. And the more often you look at that piece of paper, the more often you think about that thing or that person, that holiday you're going on or the the new car that you're saving up for or the uh, wedding anniversary that you got planned. What well, it's, it's an endless, endless amount of different things. So I won't go through all of them. I, can't, I couldn't, I don't know all of them, there's so many. Something that's special to you. It doesn't have to be unique to you. It doesn't matter if everyone else in the world likes doing that thing. It's special to you because we're focusing just on you. And you deserve to be able to feel relaxed, to feel calmer, to feel at peace, more positive, to feel happier. You deserve that. And you can give yourself that by carrying around that piece of paper that tells you, reminds you of what it is that you've got to look forward to or it could be something reminding you of your good qualities something reminding you of why you're doing what you're doing the goal, the overall goal your purpose your reason to remind yourself that You've got a lot going for you. You've got a lot of positive things that you can use as energy to heal yourself from that negativity that may, you know, arrive now and then. Because just just because a negativity knocks on the door, you don't have to answer the door. You never have to answer the door, ever, if you don't want to. Have a little have a little look through the peephole. And if it's if it's a negative thought or feeling that you don't really want, just ignore it. And it will go away. 
it will go away. And just with that idea in your mind, things can change for you. You can experience more of a sense of comfort naturally. Easily. Now. So I'm going to go and... Have a brilliant week ahead of you. Remember to write something down. And remember to keep visiting that piece of paper. To remind yourself. To be kind to yourself. Because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love.